Hello guys, welcome back. Another tutorial. How to root your Redmi Note 8 Pro. First, unlock your bootloader. I already made that tutorial also. You want to see the stock recovery? You put the phone and hold the plus button, plus volume button. This is the stock recovery. This one only for stock MIUI. If you change it to the TWRP, then you can't press the MIUI ROM. I'm not sure about this TWRP, whether it can flash the OTA update automatically, or you have to download the full ROM, then flash via TWRP. Normally, the stock ROM will cover the OTA update, whether it's a full update or a patch update. Patch update only a few megabytes, maybe around three to four hundred megabytes. If you download the full ROM, one point nine GB. My previous ROM, uh. EU version so I flash the global version to this device this is the global version wait 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 this over here yeah MI you see PGG MI XM if you see PGG ID, that one uh, Indonesian version, PGG EU, the Europe version, or PGG CN, the Chinese variant. So now we have to boot to fast boot. Reboot your pawn. Reboot. Reboot, then hold your minus volume button over here when you reboot. Now we are going to fast boot. Stand by your PC. You hold on. You can see, first of all, you must have your boot to the lock and then all the driver, the ATB driver, the COM driver. Hope you can see over here. See over here when I connect my phone to the PC. You see, I'm using a Windows 10 Android phone here and Android bootloader interface. If you use Windows 7, you see at the port here Qualcomm 9008, the port com. Since I'm using uh, Windows 10, the Android phone here, Android bootloader. I hope you can see. Cannot zoom anymore. Okay, once your device is set to bootloader, okay, I'll put it over here so you can see. This 
this is my ADB uh, minimal ADB driver and my recovery the TWP recovery once inside this folder hold your shift button on the keyboard right click on your mouse open PowerShell window or oh, on Windows 7 uh, open command prompt open PowerShell window here now we are inside the terminal the command prompt the recovery you must put inside the folder here inside the adb i will link the the whole folder and the recovery this is the minimal adb for android okay now type pass boot flash recovery password flash recovery and then what type of recovery you want to flash since mine uh, I already renamed the recovery to recovery if yours is TWP you type password flash recovery TWP what version and then dot IMG and mine is recovery dot IMG and then press enter now it's writing the recovery and it says okay we are done here no more with the PC now your phone okay plug up the USB cable now hold the volume plus button and power button we want to reboot to recovery straight away volume plus and power button don't release the volume plus just release the power button it will reboot twice the first one Reboot recovery and then still holding the plus button, don't release it. You will reboot again and then this time you release the volume plus until you see the recovery. You can release the volume plus. Now we are in the recovery. Maybe for the first time you will receive a different one since mine already flashed before. Uh, the memory is still inside there. First thing you have to change the language from Chinese to English. There's an option there. Okay. After you have, uh, you see the cheat up screen like this. First thing go to mount system and then press home we go back and then go to add one file manager this is here system root That's the system. Okay, system root, go to system, and then 
delete this file recovery system recovery from boot delete and swipe okay successfully press home again now go to advanced again we want to disable the force not this uh, yes, force, force encryption on the boot close the ABB 2.0 okay back again this option close ABB 2.0 you see close the boot verification of ABB 2.0 this one uh, disable the verity of the boot okay you swipe delete successfully the the parity put or the delete okay now press home again press add fun now we want to root the device there is an option here add fun and install root This will root the device and swipe. The root file already inside the TWRP. It's the Magis 19.4, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now we can reboot the system. <coughs> Don't wipe your data during uh, uh, what is it? Rooting. All your file will be gone there. Eh? Now it's reboot to the system. Okay, you will see the eh, the images over here, the root. It's 19.4. You, you can use this one, but for me, I prefer the 19.2 because I'm using the GL2. If you use this version 19.4 or 20, you will get, will get a good look when using GL2s. So I reboot back to my recovery TRP. Reboot holding the volume plus button I want to flash Install my file already inside my SD card. Magis 19.2 and swipe to the right. That's it. You are done. Reboot the system.
EU version okay this one is a global version the Indonesian version I also test also okay no problem maybe I have to switch back to EU or I will stay with this global version PGG MIXM but the EU version already update to 1045 the Indonesian version 1042 this global 1041 but after all it's more or less nothing different there the Indonesian version the bloodway are different this is almost similar like the EU version that depend wherever you are like me in Malaysia I will resist this blood way let's remove I don't know this thing and install all together okay my magic 19.2 because I want to use the GL tool and to remove this unwanted thing you can deploy it there is a tutorial on XDA to deploy the MUI okay that's all and happy routing your Redmi Note 8 and once again thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video